This is going to be a brief overview video of how to add tags to your exercises within the Coach Me Plus Program Builder, as well as how to filter by them and use them in your programming. So to start things off, I'm going to go to my side menu, and then under Coach Tools, I'm going to go to Program Builder. I'm going to then go to Library and then Exercises. From here, I'm going to go ahead and I can either edit an existing exercise and look down here at the tags box. I can click the X to remove these tags, but I can also add multiple tags that may exist on this list. Or I can add a new tag just by typing in the name I want and hitting the plus button, and away I go. What I can also do is add this to a new exercise. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and create a new exercise. I'm just going to call it example. And I'm going to go ahead and give it the tag of lower body. There we are. I select lower body. There wasn't a plus next to it. Within our exercise library. And then from here, I can go ahead and customize this exercise and build it out as I normally would, setting progressions or whatever it may be. I save it once I'm satisfied, and then I can go back to my exercise menu. Once in this library, to find that filter and find anything else that's, or find that tag that's been used, we can go ahead and scroll down on this sidebar on the right side, and I'm going to find anything that I tag lower body. So I'm going to click on that tag. It's going to then populate with a list of exercises that I've created that all have that lower body tag. So if I were to click on one of these, for example, chair squat, you can see this has the lower body tag on it as well as quadriceps. You can select multiple tabs at once to see if you have crossover. So if you have lower body and then maybe kettlebell exercises, it'll further support or further filter for you. And you can see the selected tags here that you have here on the side. So you can go ahead and remove those. And if you clear them all, it just brings you back to the regular library. So hope this helps.